Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to solve the Rubik's Cube 3x3. Three three. We're going to have to start out with some standard notation to, that I'll explain that how you will need it later. So, this would be right, left, up, down, front, back. And then if it has, and then when I say inverted, that means counterclockwise. So this would be right, this should be right, inverted, top top inverted, left, left inverted, so on and so forth. And then if I say top two or up two, you just move it twice and it doesn't matter which way, it would end up to be the same thing either way. Alright, so let's get started. Okay. Normally I like to start with the red side and you can identify each side because of the center. Now I like to start with the red side. So first what you do is you find all the side pieces. Here's one, one, and that would be a corner, not side. So side, 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 and that's four. And then you see this is red and blue, so you find the blue dot right here. And then the red and blue one basically just needs to be turned around at this point. So what you can do is you can pop it up in your place. You saw that. You just put it down, pop it up, then you turn it to where it needs to be. And then here's red and yellow. Red and yellow. So then you bend this down, shift this right there, put it back up. Red green. Uh, red green. So then, you go the red and green one. Really easy to shift to the bottom so you don't mess up the centers. Go over twice and bring this down. Scoot it over and scoot back. And then um, so last one's right here. So this one will be easy. You just put it down, pop it in the place, put it back up. And then you have the cross. And then make sure all the centers are lined up. So blue, blue, white, white, green, green, yellow, yellow. Then you should take these corner pieces one, two, three, four. Okay. And then see yellow, green. So you find yellow and green, yellow, green. Shift it over here. And to get all the corner pieces in, you always do right inverted, down inverted, right, down, until it gets into that spot. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Okay. Ah, okay. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. There we go. And there it goes. Let's see. Green, white. Green, white. So put that in place. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And you just keep doing it until it pops into place. Alright. Blue yellow. Blue yellow. And we're down over right down, etc. etc. Over and over. Okay. And the last one's right here. And then normally now bottom doesn't take quite as long. There we go. So then you have the first layer done. And you gotta make sure all these are the white, green, yellow, blue, and on the right corners. Okay. So for this next layer, this one, it looks like these two are already done, but I'll show you how to do the rest of these two. Alright. So you have to find all the little little pieces, two-sided pieces. See this one's green and yellow, green and yellow. Look, I won't be able to explain getting the setup, so let me get those out. Okay, so now that blue one's out. So, you find the blue and yellow one, blue and yellow, and then you line it up right here. And then if the yellow was on the outside, you line it up right here. And so if it's on this right side whenever you hold it, like that, you'd go right inverted, down inverted, right, down two, 
right inverted, down inverted, right, down two, right inverted, down inverted, right. And then it pops right into place and leaves this layer alone. You can find the next place. And this will be on the left side, so it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be left, down, left inverted, down two, left, down, left inverted, down two, left, down, left inverted. Pops out in place. That one's already in place. And this one, how it's supposed to be turned around, you can have any of these. Basically, like, you'll need to get that out, which means put another one in. So you do that. You just do the thing. And then it pops this false one in. And you need to find the good one right there. Put it. And then remember, it's on the left side. And that has to be lined up. Left, down, left inverted, down to, left, down, left inverted, down to, left, down, inverted, left inverted. Then you have all both of these done. Not for the last layer. Okay, the cross is already there, so let me fix that. Okay, normally we're going to get something like this. You're either going to get one dot, the L line, or the cross is already going to be done. So, let me get it to the dot. If you just give me a second. I forgot how to do it. Hmm. Okay, anyways, it's not getting to the dot. But if it has the dot, you do the same thing um, in any direction what I'm about to do. But if you have the L, put it in the top left corner like this to where it looks like a backwards L. Then you do front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. Then you have the line. And make sure the line's horizontal, not up like this. And then do the same thing. Front, right, up, front inverted, up inverted, right. And you just keep doing those until you have the cross. You already have the cross, lucky you. Okay, and then... Let me fix this right quick. Okay. Then you can see you have to line up all these sides. Without messing up these. Which means you're moving this whole layer without moving these, basically. So. What you do is you find two that are already matching. Like they're supposed to be. Like see how this is blue and white. And then if they're crossed from each other, you put it vertical. Like this, where one's here and one's here, then do the same thing, and then it'll be two like this. And then whenever you get it two like this, you hold these to where one's here and one's here. Then you go right, top, right inverted, top, right, top, top, or top two, right inverted. So you have it like that, and then they all line up perfectly. And finally, you try to find a corner that's already in the right spot. Like, yellow, orange, green, yellow, orange, green. It might not be turned the right way like this, but that doesn't matter. And so, um, if you don't have any, you just do what I'm about to do, and you should have one, and you just keep doing it. So anyways, find the one you have, you get it in this bottom right corner. Then you go top, right, top, left inverted, or top inverted, left inverted, top, right inverted, top inverted, left. And then you see if you have any more, no, so you do it again. Okay, see so now you have all these. Sometimes it'll already be solved, sometimes it's not. Okay, and then you take each layer, you do the right inverted, down inverted, right down, right inverted, down inverted, right down, and keep doing it until it gets into the spot in the right direction, like that. And then remember, after it's in the right direction, you always start to do the down. Instead of moving the whole cube like this, just move the top. And then do the same thing until it gets into place. And then remember, always do the bottom down. Just keep doing it. Well.
And then line them all up. Congratulations, you have now solved the Rubik's Cube. So pretty cool.